Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have sort of like a fashion video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing my top 10 favorite shoes. Um, I just decided to do this because I really like shoes. It's one of my favorite pieces to an outfit besides bags. But yeah, I have quite a lot of shoes. So it's kind of difficult for me to pick out my favorite ones. But I kind of just went with the ones that I usually wear all the time. Um, and these are shoes that I wear throughout the entire year. So some of them might be like boots or some of them might be sandals. It's just what my favorite shoes are for the entire year. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. So I'm going to be starting in no particular order. Um, just because I have about 10 pairs of shoes to show you guys. But the first ones I picked up are these boots from H&M. They're just these black leather boots with this chunky heel. I think the heel is about like two inches or a little bit under two inches. Um, it has this nice like zipper on the side that you can pull up and down. I can't really pull it up right now. But um, since my calves or my legs are kind of muscular in a way, um, this kind of helps to put them on easier instead of just having to try to fit my foot through the skinny part. So that's the number one plus for this shoe but I just really love the shape of it they match so many things you can wear this with dresses you can wear it with jeans dress it up dress it down it works either way and I love how the front is like pointed but not too pointy and it's still like rounded at the front I don't know I just think they're really edgy and like really cool um I got these from H&M about a few months ago for I think about like 30 bucks I don't think they're still available I'm not sure if any of these shoes are still available well some of them are like the sneakers but as for the boots I don't think these are available anymore but if anything is available that I'll be showing you guys I'll leave them in the down bar below also just for reference if you guys are wondering what shoe size I wear in sneakers if it's unisex sneaker sizing I'll wear a size 5 which is a size 7 for females or sometimes a size four and a half to six and a half for female and then for boots I usually try to stick with seven or seven and a half because sometimes boots are a little bit tight on me and I like them to be a little bit more roomy especially in the winter time I do tend to wear thicker socks with boots and then for sandals I just get my true size which is size six and a half or seven it depends on the shoe but I'll just say my size is usually around a seven so these next pair of shoes are actually sneakers and these are the Nike Air Max. I believe they're either 97 or 95. I could be wrong with both of those numbers. If I can find them, just a link to them, and they're probably not in stock anywhere, but if I can find a link to them, like similar ones, I'll link them down below and, and hopefully it'll say which ones they are. I'm not really good with sneakers, even though I have a lot, but I'm not good with the names of them. But these are just like a nice taupe color. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, they're like these nude taupe colors. It has this Nike um, Air logo embroidered on the back in gold. And I really like that as a nice little touch to the shoe. And I don't know, they're just like really comfortable to walk in, of course, because they have the Air Max bubble in them. And they're just, I don't know, they match a lot of things. And they look really nice in the summertime and in the fall time. Like, I love them a lot. But these I got about like three or four years ago, so I'm not sure if they still have this colorway available. I think they still do make these, um, this style of sneaker, but I don't know if this color is still available. But I really do like them. They're so beautiful and I love them so much. The next pair are another pair of sneakers. Um, I am a sneaker head a little bit. And these are beloved throughout the sneaker world. I'm not exactly sure what the name of them are or the style. But I actually bought these off of Amazon because I've been wanting them for a while and I got these recently, I think like in the summertime and so many people would have them and I always wanted this colorway. I had two other colors in this, one of them I'll be showing you next, but I have two other colors in these ones and these were the ones that I've always wanted. But these are the Nike Air Jordan ones and these are the blue ones. I think they're called the bread or maybe they're not varsity blue I don't know what the names of them are but I'll either leave them on the screen or I'll leave them in the down bar but I don't know I just love the way these look like they're such like I just love the blue and the black like I feel like it matches so many things um 
my icon photo on my actual channel is me wearing these. I wore this in a photo shoot in that picture. You probably can't see them on my feet because the picture's probably like cropped. But I did a photo shoot in these, really nice, with some camo pants, looks really awesome. And I don't know, they're just like really cool and edgy, like I like them a lot. They're so comfortable and I wear them all the time, like they're my favorite freaking Jordans ever and I have quite a few Jordans but I don't know I like these ones a lot they're really great so the next pair are also a pair of Jordan ones and these are the red ones and I believe these are called the bread I don't know which one is which but but I could be getting all these names wrong but you can see them if you search your Jordan ones they'll probably pop up and find the name but these are also really nice the only thing is these are a half size smaller than those ones and they do fit a little bit tight and are kind of hard to get on. I kind of wish I got a bigger size, but I got these in like the kids' sizes because in men's, I end up running into the kids' sizes, not the actual men's sizes. So I got these ones from Flight Club and they could be pretty expensive to buy from, but I believe I paid about 200 for these. The other Jordans, I paid about 200 also. So they're both kind of around the same price even though I think they retail for about 180 something in kids sizes so that's kind of a downfall on like buying Jordans like after they're already released from like other sellers but I really love these ones too I always wear these with some sort of cargo pants like green cargo pants I think they just look really nice not super like vibrant green but like olive green pants and they look really awesome with some gray jeans also and I love them a lot and I like wearing these in the winter more and I don't know why but they remind me of like Kid Cudi and I love Kid Cudi as you guys know. I don't know why I feel like him wearing these. I feel like he has a picture of him wearing these for some reason and I fell in love with it but yeah I like these also. Really great, really comfortable. Check them out. So the next pair is also sneakers or trainers as the English will say. And these I think I believe I got them in the summertime because I did wear them to the Panorama Festival. I will say they weren't comfortable at the end of the night for the back of my heel because it scratched it like crazy. Um, but other than that, they're really comfortable to walk in, but not for a whole day thing where you're just non-stop walking. But just wear them out all day, they're super comfortable. And these are the Nike Cortez. Now, I don't remember which colorway this is, but these are the exact ones that Forrest Gump is wearing in the movie. and. I don't know, I just love how these look. They look so retro and clean and cool. I do need to wash mine because I did get them dirty at Panorama because I'm just walking in grass all day. But I just love the blue, the red, white, and blue on it. Very patriotic, even though it's country isn't patriotic anymore. But I just really do like the colorway of them. Really nice, matches anything. Great white sneaker for the spring and summer. I'll be rocking these all summer again. I know I will. And it's really awesome and comfortable so yeah I like these too and I got these from nike.com the website and they were about I think like 80 something or 90 not too bad for Nike sneakers but yeah they're really lightweight really awesome and check these out too the next pair is one that I shared in my favorites recently. If you guys haven't checked that video out, I will link it up here for you guys, my January favorites. And these are the Adidas Gazelle in black. I've been rocking these all month, almost every single day. Um, every single day, but like every weekend and stuff. And these are so awesome. They match so many things. I know they're kind of not really people's style that much, a lot of people's style, but some people say it looks like bowling shoes or something which I don't mind but they're really comfortable also I love them a lot matches anything like I said it even matches my outfit right now I could wear it not like a bumblebee but it's whatever but these are really awesome um, I got them for Christmas but I think they're quite inexpensive so yeah these are awesome too I think my sister got them from Macy's which is the cheapest that I saw but yeah, they should still be in stock some places. I know the black ones usually sell out fast. I also have them in green and red, but these are my favorite colors so far. So taking a break from the sneakers for a while, I have a pair of sandals to show you guys. And these sandals I was wearing all summer last year when I went to wear dresses and stuff. And they were super inexpensive. They were only $8 from Primark. <laughs> and they're just these sandals right here. They're like this shiny metallic color with like this 
wood looking white foam sole sort of thing i don't know but they're super comfortable you can see they're a little bit dirty but they kind of just buckle around the back of your heel like that and they just match so many outfits in the summer and spring it just looks so nice and clean and i just love the way the straps are like thick around your foot it's just really comfortable so inexpensive and i'm going to be wearing these so much in the springtime it's going to be so beautiful like different dresses and spring dresses and stuff cannot wait the next pair of shoes is a pair of boots that i've also been wearing like crazy this month and the entire winter season and these are my doc martin 1460s i believe the main classic ones that you guys always see these are in the black smooth i believe the black smooth leather type they do look like clown shoes or something really thick and chunky and the way i walk they kind of curve up even more but these are awesome matches so many things makes you look super edgy yet you could dress them up i love wearing them with like leather trousers and stuff they just look even more awesome but they're just so cool to have some socks peeking off the top um they are heavy so they do hurt your foot if you're trying to speed walk anywhere or rush but after you break them in they are comfortable because they are air walk so it's very cushiony inside and they're just great i got them about like four or five years ago or even more for christmas one time and ever since i've been rocking them like crazy so these are a must i just got a brand new one that i just ordered for 84 the same kind but in like a leather cognac color and if i do an upcoming haul i'll definitely show you guys but they're gonna be so great i'm gonna love them hopefully they don't hurt my foot breaking them in but fashion is worth the pain so i'll do anything for these bad boys <laughs> now moving back into sneakers i have these beloved ones that so many people have loved for the past two years everyone has them and their mama and these are the adidas stan smith with the green backing on the hill i don't know what you would call it but mines are super dirty i need to get new laces and i need to wash them or bleach them i was wearing these also all last spring and summer matches dresses matches jeans shorts anything you could think of so comfortable so freaking comfortable i love them they're such a staple in the fashion world at the moment in the past year and they're not too expensive so that's why i like them too i was debating on getting a new pair but i think i'm just gonna change the laces out and just wash them because they don't look too bad and honestly i think they kind of look better when they're beat up so yeah those are great and the last pair of sneakers slash shoes that i have to share with you guys are these nike blazers and these are the midi ones i believe because they don't go super high up and they're not super low um these were i think one of the first pair of sneakers that i purchased myself with my own money um which was kind of exciting i got these about like five years ago or so i don't wear them as often as i should but they are one of my favorite sneakers forever like i love them so much i love the color it's like this orangey reddish color like rusty sort of color i don't know how to describe it but just really really nice i love that color it matches so many things it just looks awesome and makes your outfit look so dope together i love how the nike imprint on the back is like this turquoise blue that just makes it look very contrasting with the red i just think it's so cool and like retro looking that's why i really like them and they fit me so nicely and they don't make my feet look super big or anything or like chunky they make them look really slim yet they're super comfortable and don't hurt my wide feet but <laughs> I love these a lot. I think I paid like $95 for them. Even the soles are freaking blue. It's just so awesome. I love the color of these. But yeah, I love these so much. They're probably one of my favorite sneakers of all time. Probably top three, but yeah, I love these sneakers. And I know they don't make them anymore, so I'm gonna cherish them forever and ever and ever. That just touched my lip. Ugh. So guys, that is all the shoes that I have to share with you guys. Hopefully, some of them are still available. I will leave them down in the links below if they are. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, just be sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up. And be sure to comment down below any requests you have or any comments about the video that you have or questions for me. Also, if you guys can hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video and also that subscribe button, please click that subscribe button. It would help me out so, so much. 
I want to thank you guys for always supporting me and following me on here and keeping up with my videos and watching them and I'm hoping that you're enjoying the ride with me. Um, if you guys want to keep up with me when I'm not posting a video on YouTube, also my social media links will be down below as my Instagram, my Twitter, Tumblr, the whole shipping will be down there. And once again, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!